So let's let's start with the Brazil oil and gas industry. So of course, Brazil saw one of the world's great hydrocarbon discoveries in the pre-salt formations uh, around 2006. This has seen production accelerate with Brazil, one of the top 10 producers globally with the second largest reserves in South America. So firstly, can you speak a bit about the development of the Brazilian oil and gas industry with particular reference to the last decade and the discoveries of pre-salt formations? Yeah, so Brazil has been on the oil and gas business for quite a long time, but actually it was in 1997 when the market opened for you know other companies besides Petrobras to be able to explore oil and gas in Brazil. And actually, you know, the Brazilian market started having um, quite a few of uh, companies interest in Brazil after 2000. And then in 2007, you know, where several companies were already, you know, starting exploration in Brazil and mainly in deep water, and that's where Petrobras also expertise was. In 2007, Petrobras discovered this area that calls the pre-salt, and actually calls the pre-salt because it's related to when uh, the salt was deposited um, into the formation um, and where the formation of oil was deposited in terms of uh, geological time. So actually the oil is below the salt formation. Uh, so it was deposited prior to the salt, that's what they call the pre-salt. Um, and since then, Brazil has had several um, interests from all over the world because the volumes in the pre-salt area are substantial. We we'll talk about the 15 billions barrels of, of oil in place or, or, or more of discovery. And uh, so in 2008, Brazil suspended the bidding, the conventional bidding rounds um, that allows the participation from operators from all over the world. And during four or five years, um, there was a lot of debates um, in Brazil regards to how they should uh, actually allow companies to explore Brazil oil and gas. So with that, in 2013, the bid rounds resumed, and that's when they had the first, what they call the first pre-sale bidding round. At that time, they decided to change the regime that used to be a concession regime. A concession regime, many countries have that, and it's basically the risk is on the operator side, on the one that's going to explore the oil and gas. Um, they normally pay a signing bonus, and then what they call kind of a retention for the area. And that allows them to explore on the area for X many years. In Brazil, it was about 27 years. And then, of course, they will pay royalties, you know, during the period that they are exploring that area. Uh, with the pre sale discovery in 2013, when the bidding round resumed, they decided to go for different types of contract. And it's called production sharing contract. And mainly on that, what happened is that the operator now has the right to explore, takes the cost of the oil out, including royalties, so all the expense out to, you know, to a certain cap level. And then the amount that is left, all the profitability that is left, there is share between the company that's exploring and the government. Right. Uh, what the government has done in this first, second and third bidding round is that they actually only were allowing Petrobras to be the operator. So you could have um, some other major companies or even independent companies um, from oil and gas side, from exploration production side. However, Petrobras has to be the sole uh, operator. And Petrobras would, would have a minimum amount of 30% in all those fields. And then it was about 2000, end of 2016, beginning of 2017, where the government moved one step further in terms of how they will open up the, the market and say from now on Petrobras no longer needs to be the sole operator of the pre sale Any company that bids has the right to uh, operate. What they allow Petrobras to have was uh, what they call the preference right. So that means that if Petrobras want to be part of that consortium with the other operators, they would have to include Petrobras on it. So if Petrobras has interest on that specific area, Petrobras could have a share of, of that area, but no longer need to be the, the operator. And that's the type of concessions that we have today. We have had, I think, two, is a bidding round four and five, has been under this production sharing, with Petrobras no longer having the uh, being the sole operator. And we're going to have the next uh, bidding round on, on production sharing and pre-sale, in the next month, so it's going to be the sixth one. Well. 